I think that the history really deserves to be as inclusive as possible. You know, like Steve, you could talk for a while about the hip hop artists that you were working with at Smart. You know, when I first started working at Smart, you know, Steve was always upstairs with like a lot of homeboys in Madison and they would come and they would go and you know, you're a quiet person when you work. So it wasn't a, a schmoozy session that was going on. These weren't folks that were hanging out necessarily in the lounge or with other bands. They came in, they got focused, they worked with Steve. And um, you know, there are all these little areas, these genres that the film doesn't explore, but are worth exploring, definitely. All the folk stuff? And the yeah, folk stuff, stuff, yeah, absolutely, yeah. Steve was, was way into hip hop very early on, and the reason we bought samplers was because he was bringing Public Enemy records in the studio, and I was listening to them going, holy cow, this is exciting, this is crazy music. And we didn't really know even how they made those records and started hearing, oh, they're using samplers or taking things off records and looping them. And that's why we, we bought a couple samplers, uh, an Akaius 1000 and a K, Kurzweil K2500 for you audio geeks out there. And, um, and we started doing remixes using the samplers and that's what started Garbage. So it was really Steve was kind of like, oh, this, is, this is kind of the cutting edge of music. And, yeah. And, uh, and, and as Wendy said, Steve was working with a lot of cool hip-hop bands that, that were totally under the radar yeah. at, at the time. But uh, that was also a part of Smart that's really, it's, it's, it's yeah. another part that's really not in the documentary. Yeah, yeah. Any other questions? All right, let me uh, maybe ask the last question. And you guys will be able to stick around for a little bit then? Yeah, yeah, we're just saying. Smart years? What are you most proud of? Yeah. As you look back. For me, probably the very first seven inch final single that was probably Mech to Mench, which <laughs> kind of had stuff to do with guitar babies and then Kilozer and everything else in the movie. But, but that very 